Well, a federal investigation is underway at an Antioch High School tonight. It involves bogus bills that were passed in the school cafeteria. That's right, counterfeit money was used to buy school lunches. Channel 4's Nancy Ammons has a story you'll see only on 4 tonight. Some counterfeit 20s similar to these were used to buy school lunches at the Cane Ridge cafeteria about two weeks ago. The Secret Service is investigating. They say the bad bills were passed by students. We were able to talk to some of the students and um, some of their parents and um, we believe we've stopped the passing of the money at the school. Apparently, the school lunch workers spotted the fake 20s, then called the school resource officer. The Secret Service is working to find out who printed the money. They don't think it was the work of students. No one's been charged. Well, I don't want to talk too much about the case, uh, the details of the case right now, but we, we are looking at an adult outside of the school that possibly printed the money. The Secret printed Service says about $80 million dollars in counterfeit money surfaces every year. That's less than 1% of the money supply. Last year in Middle Tennessee, about $230,000 in counterfeit money was passed. Some of the fakes are pretty good, using high-quality digital printers. The paper is of low quality. But even the bad fakes might fool someone in a poorly lit place, like a bar. But in this case, the bogus 20s did not get by some astute workers in a busy cafeteria line at Cane Ridge High. This is a counterfeit $20 bill, and it doesn't quite feel like real money like you're used to. The Secret Service says if you want to tell for sure if a bill is counterfeit or not, just compare it to one you know is the real thing. Nancy Amons, Channel 4 News. Now we asked the school system for a comment but did not hear back from them by news time.